okay. Now, if I just go into here, click always active slash TP, try depth bear to those coordinates. I'm stuck. All right, yep, I am stuck. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you how to get out of this situation right here where I simply cannot move. I'm, I've got an infinite teleport loop going over there and I'm going to be showing you this updated tutorial on how to do this in 1.14.3. So, um, yeah, let's go, let's go through some of the steps. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is we basically want to lag out the game a little bit. So pretty much everything runs on tick speed and you can see the tick speed right at the top. Um, I'll just put an underline under that. You can see we're running at about an average of, I'd, I'd say seven millisecond ticks, um, which is pretty good going for a single player world. However, we, um, we want to increase that to make basically server lag in the single player world. So the easiest way to do that and uh, the easiest scalable way to do that is by doing game rule random tick speed. So we basically want to increase this to a pretty big number. However, you're going to want to be careful. So the first thing you want to do before trying to fix any of this is just going into here, click edit and then click make backup. So yeah, you definitely want to going to want to do this um, for any sort of thing and if you want to access that then just click that click open backups folder and if I switch to desktop record right here uh, let, let it just kick in for a second there we go you can see I've got both testing worlds in here uh, I already backed it up earlier so then you can open this click on testing world and you've got all of the files in here you just drag this back into your saves folder so that is essentially how you make a backup uh, super easily so then after making a backup now we can start doing the tutorial so basically um, we want to set it to a relatively high number. So this can differ depending on how good your computer is. So if you're running on a pretty bad laptop, I'd ra I'd recommend setting it to maybe start off with 50,000 and then increase your way up from there. I found that about uh, 5 million, I think, works for my computer. Uh, that is 5 million right there. And nope, it's higher than that. Okay, it's maybe it's 50 million. Okay, that's, that's, that's a little bit better, but let's go a little bit higher than that, and that should be good. So now you can see that the uh, millisecond ticks is up in the thousands, so it should teleport me back about every second. So maybe we want to go even higher than this, set this to 50, and then now we are not getting teleported back at all. Now in the previous tutorial, I told you just to destroy the command block, but if we wait for it to update, you will notice that, yeah, it just reappears. Um, so it doesn't really work. However, if you do slash set block and then pretty much uh, what you want to do is you want to look at the looking at block I'll underline that right now and you can see negative 889 okay let me write that down negative 889 um, it's also 56 56 negative 1042 negative 1042 so those are the coordinates of the command block now it's a bit easier for me because I'm all the way over here However, if it's not as easy, you could probably add an extra zero to this and wait for it to update. And you should be able to just infinitely fly around, pretty much. Um, because that'll set it to, yeah, that, that is a pretty high milliseconds for the ticks. So, yeah, we can pretty much just fly around infinitely. You can see this redstone clock with this lamp has totally stopped. And um, if we place down a lever or something, you'll see that we can't actually flick it. Um, it doesn't allow us to because... Yeah, we're having too much lag. So now basically we want to slash set block uh, to those coordinates that I showed you before and then set it to air. Now it's going to take a little while to update so um, I'm going to speed this up here real quick. Right, and there we go. So it has set as you saw just before you can see, change the block. Um, yeah, I actually had to go and do something else because it was taking quite a while. So it can take quite a long time to set that block so um yeah don't worry about that but then you're pretty much done now you just want to set the um random tick speed back to three however it might take a while and you might get timed out as well um because yeah 34,000 millisecond ticks that's 34 seconds but that's not guaranteed so it could actually be longer than 34 seconds so um yeah, you definitely, <laughs> you definitely want to make sure that you don't set it too high. But I think, I think, yeah, whatever I set it to here, what what was that? 500 million? I think 500 million was a bit too high. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix it if you accidentally set it too high. If you didn't make a backup like I told you to in the beginning. 
um, then you can use this method. Uh, also, this can be done if you uh, watch my previous tutorial, my old tutorial on this, and um, actually set the number too high and didn't make it back up. So, basically, you want to save and quit and go back to the menu, and this could take a while because the random tick speed is very, very high. But there we go, that didn't actually take too long, thankfully. So um, now you just want to quit game, and now if I switch to my desktop record, you want to go to the first link in the description, or you could, or alternatively, you could search up NBT Explorer, click on the first link, and then it'll take you to this Minecraft forum thing, and then you want to go down to here, click Windows slash Linux right here, um, and it'll take you to this GitHub page, this is what the link in the description is, and then you can just click the NBT Explorer 2.8.0.zip, I've already installed it, that's why it has a little one there. Then you click on it, and then you double click on this, extract all, and then yep, just extract it. And then launch it up, and you can see it'll come up already in your saves folder. So now you just gotta find what the world was called, mine was just called Testing World, and basically look for your world in here. So, uh, mine should be, yep, Testing World right here. So now, basically, you wanna get the world, once you have the world, open it up, um, expand the level.dat and the data inside that, and then you want to expand the game rules one, and you should see somewhere down here, it should say random tick speed. Where does it say that? Um, boom, random tick speed. Okay, for some reason mine says it's set to 3. Uh, that's probably because it actually updated right before I logged out, but um, if it didn't and it doesn't say 3, it says something like, well, what I set, had mine set to, 500 million. Um, yeah, that, that's, I, I had mine set to 500 million, so it might look a little something like this. So then pretty much to change that, you can just edit it, um, set it to three, and then you can just go off, oh, you gotta also save before you exit, and then go out, click out of all of these, and now if you go back into your world, you should be good, and you should have everything perfectly back to normal. And now logging into the world, you will see that, bam, the clock is running. If I do game rule, uh, if I could type random tick speed, and that is set to three, and all is good. I have saved my testing world successfully. Thank God, I got some pretty old things in there. That's from the original Let's Play over here. That's the original Let's Play testing. Um, that, yeah, I've got, I've got some pretty cool things here. It's pretty cool creations. We definitely don't want to lose these to a stupid teleport bug. Anyway, um, I think that just about does it for this video, guys. Uh, the previous tutorial will be unlisted, but you can access that in the uh, description if you want. It'll be one of the links in the description. I got quite a few. But yeah, anyway, I really hope you found this useful. Uh, one thing I want to note is that I'm not sure for Bedrock Edition. Um, I just want to say that right now, I yeah, I really have, I have no idea what to do for Bedrock Edition because I don't play Bedrock Edition, so um, yeah, unfortunately, I do not have a method for that. Maybe this will work in Bedrock Edition. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, guys, I really hope you found this useful and enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, whatever. Really help me out. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.